loop line here, and I want to go over the Unicode converter add-on for Scrapebox. By default, Scrapebox supports the ISO 8859 character set, which basically gives you complete coverage for these languages uh, and then some limited coverage for other languages, but it doesn't support languages such as Japanese or Chinese uh, or, or many other languages that utilize Unicode or UTF-8 characters. So what Scrapebox did is they built an add-on that will allow you to scrape those keywords. So if I had a Japanese keyword, for instance, I can scrape it even though Scrapebox doesn't support it by using this add-on. So what you're going to do is go to Show Available Add-ons, and you're going to install the Unicode converter if you don't already have it. Um, if you do have it and you need to update it, you can also do it in here. Once that's done, you go down here to the Scrapebox Unicode converter, and you'll see this box pop up. So if I take a Unicode keyword, for instance, and shoot it in here, then I can convert it and send it to Scrapebox. Now let me show you what happens if I don't do that. If I put it in here by default, I just get question marks. I just paste it in there because Scrapebox doesn't support those character sets. Now once the add-on is installed, I can also go to import from file and enter keywords in Unicode and it pops open the add-on as well. So once I paste it in here, I also have the choice to load from a file if I don't want to paste it in or type it in. But then I can convert and send to Scrapebox. What that does is it encodes that keyword. Uh, this is standard encoding and it's supposed to look like that and it'll be one per line so if you put a bunch of keywords in there you're going to see a ton of this. What this is is it's encoded. It's going to take this keyword and now if I go to scrape Google for it then it will send it to Google and Google will of course unencode that keyword and it will get the results and send them back as standard URLs over here. And so we can see some of this is encoded, but if I wanted to open this in a default browser here, then it would actually load and render the Wikipedia site there just fine. So these are standard accepted encodings, and it's going to bring back regular URLs that will resolve perfectly normally. So that is how the Unicode converter works and it allows you to work with Unicode keywords and import them in, into Scrapebox and then scrape URLs based off of those keywords.